Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is June 29, 2021, and it's the news 193, if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong. Uh, someone has been probably counting. And uh, the news are brought to you by a group of photographic retailers and manufacturers who have joined together to support analog photographic media and help keep analog photography thriving worldwide. And those brands are Camera Dactyl, Cosmo Photo, Chroma Cameras, Rebani Labs, Reality So Subtle, Intrepid Cameras, Pixelator, Brooklyn Film Camera, Undo Cameras, Standard Cameras, 20th Century Cameras, Pictorial Graphica, Analog Wonderland, Cinestill, and Large Format Camera Store. Also, as you can see, still don't have a real studio. I'm this like illustrates my reality right now. I live off boxes, even though not all my house is being shipped over. I did have a palette come over for my video stuff so I could keep on making videos. That's why today we have a proper lighting. And uh, they did break my ground glass on my 8x10 Chamonix. So, you know, you know, press F for that. And yeah, I'm here in Finland. So, quick news on a personal level, camera rescue video. I'm going to leave a link below. I have been named uh, to take over camera rescue project from Juho, who is taking some daddy uh, leave. Congratulations, Yuho. He's had his third kid, a little girl, all safe and sound. And I will be the new camera rescue head uh, for the time being. So if you are into that project, it's cool. If you're not, go ahead and follow it on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and also the email listing. There's a cool giveaway that will happen in a week. And one of the people that subscribes to one of those places will win some cool gifts or tier, like cameras and stuff. Uh, and I will probably be choosing, so you better leave a comment in those videos. And also, if you want in this video, just for the sake of, you know, making me be in the good mood. Um, so, to the normal news. Film Lab app, uh, mobile version 2. So, Abe has been working very hard to make this Film Lab app uh, mobile version um, better and not needing a computer. And this is all about what I mentioned previously on like a hint he gave is the fact that he's working or he has uh, finished the ability to take pictures with your digital camera, put them on a S, take the SSD, uh, SD card out. Sorry, I just record an SSD, so my head's there. And uh, import them directly to uh, iPad, uh, Android device, or I think there's another thing that I'm forgetting right now and you can convert them directly with the mobile app. So you can be an Android tablet, I guess Android would be those two. Uh, you don't need a computer anymore. You don't have to have a laptop or a desktop. You can do this directly from there. It has a new system of libraries, so you can have libraries and it's a non-destruction like, uh, editing. So whatever you edit, you can always go back to the original raw file and you can do the, like, whatever conversion you want and editing or you know contrast, saturation, hue, and so on which is super cool. And on top of that, he has released this as a free upgrade for those people that already had the mobile app, like myself, but you can still do the subscription base, you can do the all one time lifetime, you know, program, or uh, you can like purchase, the, there's different models, I'm leaving the link below, there's too much information to remember uh, without proper notes. So that's what he's doing. And it will be free fully free for those people just using the app to convert from pictures of an iPhone, Android, or tablet, or iPad. Uh, but if you want to have those features to import from pro raw cameras, uh, you will have to have the paid version. But for now, the beta is out, it's free, there's a sale, go check it out down below. Then we have Kaiser. If you don't know who Kaiser is, they make uh, enlargers, copy stands, uh, scanning, material and a larger material and other things uh photographic they have announced uh i don't know if it's new but it's on their new products thing so maybe they've did done some sort of new development it's hard to understand their announcement i'll leave the link below but they've done a new mask that seems to be for full frame 35 mil scans or enlargements with the black border so this is a new product I understood and it's on their website so you can use it. They do have a whole array of products for digitizing your film. 
before any of this digitizing your film was a new wave uh, with new brands like Veloy, Negative Supply, and others. So you can check it out. If you already have an enlarger, you maybe suddenly realize that you just have to buy like one accessory and you can start scanning or no accessories. So yeah, Kaiser, pretty cool brand. They still make enlargers, which is amazing in 2021. Then there's a new brand um, of film products and chemicals. So they reached out to me. So thank you for reaching out. That made my job that bit easier, even though I had noticed them on Facebook and taken a screenshot. That's how I saved my news. It's called Flick Film, coming all the way from Canada. Uh, they're doing cinema film spooled for 35, so you can shoot your still cameras with cinema film. And they're also backing it with ECN2 uh, kits. And another thing that's super exciting, which I think is super exciting, is C41 kits, but with bleach and fix separate, not Blix, which is what Tethanol uses and some other brands. I love that idea because it kind of keeps consistency better throughout negatives and contrast and so on. Don't ask me why, I can't put my finger in it, but I do know that prints coming out of film developed with bleach and fix look better than when with Blix. Maybe I'm just me. Um, that's pretty cool. They also make a green, uh, black and white and green developer, which is eco-friendly for those eco-friendly film shooters. And there's a bunch more stuff. Check it out, it's in Canada. It's new, it's film, it's cool. Um, then we go to Light Lens Lab. I mentioned before they were working on the like of it, and I'll air quote like of it so I don't get uh, sued by Leica. Uh, like a like of it sort of uh, thing, and it's in pre-sales. And they also are making a 50 mil Elcan F2 lens, and it's also in pre-sales. Uh, but I don't have a link because their website doesn't show it. It's all coming through a Facebook post from the guy that sells them at least that I know in Canada or maybe North America. I'll leave some links below, but I do like giving links to the website and then if there's other distribution methods, you can find it. But I'll leave that link because I think it's cool and exciting and you know, Leica stuff is always interesting to a lot of people. Then a do-it-yourself enlarger, an 8x10 enlarger. This was seen by me on Facebook. It's by Ethan Brossard, uh, and he is sharingly, openly for everybody. He wanted an 8x10 enlarger that can drop down the table to the floor. He's made like CAD files and all that, and you can actually ask him, and he will send you the files and the parts needed to build this 8x10 enlarger conception. I don't know many anything else. I don't know about the light source, if he's using an old light source because he does have another 8x10 larger, or he's adapting or LED or Highland or something like that. But if you're into 8x10 and want something, do it yourself, there you go. Then from our friends from Brooklyn Film Camera, sponsor of the show, uh, is the SX37. It's an SX70 accessory for the Polaroid camera that lets you use 37 millimeter uh, accessories, filters, uh, conversion lenses like wide angle, telephoto, stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's only 25 kits, uh, but there'll be more coming soon. So if you go ahead and buy one, tell them that you saw it here in Eagles Photography Show because they're sponsoring the news and that's probably cool for them to know that people are coming from the news to them so their money, you know, they get their money's worth from sponsoring this show. Then we have Camera Dactyl, another sponsor uh, from the news, and the Go and Self Develop Back, or what I would call the Go Camera and Self Developing Back. So he's made a video with Joe Van Cleve uh, on his YouTube channel, highly recommended. They do all kinds of crazy experiments. They're a pretty fun couple. And they've been testing out using a film back that will also double as a processing tank. So the idea here is you slide a piece of uh, paper, not film in this case, take a shot with a four by five, be it the OG or the Go camera, uh, or be it with something, but do have to notice that the back is thick. So you need to like change the flange distance or the back, you know, register for focus and so on. Take a shot and then develop it inside the back. Um, it's super cool because it's light like, tight. So you can develop it sort of on the go you still need light tightness to uh, load the paper into you know, the back. But you know, if you're out in the field, you want to develop in the back of a van or something like that, it's pretty cool. And he's making it for four by five. He said it would be on his website already. Uh, so uh, Ethan, please post it so I can give the link. I'm gonna leave the link to the video and uh, Camera Dactyl's website. So when Ethan does drop the Camera Dactyl Go, 
which he has modified from the camera that OG to have that thicker back, shorter uh, nose cone for the lens so he can like fit that back on the back of the camera and you can self develop your film or paper, well, sorry, your paper out in the field. They do black and white positive, black and white reversal and color reversal, which is super cool in the video. It's a longer video, I recommend you watch it. Ethan's a fascinating person in my opinion, plus a good friend. Then we have from another friend, uh, Keith Canham, doing a special order for Kodak 5x7 slide film. Yes, you heard correctly, 5x7 color film, and not only color film, slide film, the E100 from Kodak. I've mentioned it a hundred times, just in case for those who are new, Keith Canham has been doing this for Kodak and the community for years, and he's doing a special order of the E100 in 5x7. So what you do is you go to his website, you sign in, you write him uh, the fill-in form, and you say what size of film you want, what film stock you want, and he'll put you on a list. Because Kodak does a minimum pre-order, or yeah, order of like thirteen to $15,000 US. And what he does is he gathers people around the world that want these boxes. You can buy one box, two box, 10 box, 100 boxes, whatever you want your budget can do and he will put you in the list and whenever he's gonna order, he lets you know, you prepay, he pays Kodak, gets the film, ships it to you. Very safe, promise. Uh, Keith is an amazing guy, totally back him and what he's been doing and Kodak backs him too, so you should trust that. Uh, so yeah, that's the news for this week. Uh, as always, you can send an email to the email below. I am very grateful for you guys watching and thanks for the last week receival, like of me being in Finland and making a video. I will continue making them weekly unless there's something major happening. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and see you the next time. I'll continue in this box life I have for the next few weeks or months here in Finland. Weather's been amazing. Today is cooler. And by the way, thanks to Tony from Camera Makers for giving me a Yashica T4 or 5, 5 pin with an eagle. Super cool. Thank you, Tony. Tony's been a, you know, Patreon of mine on the channel, also camera maker here in Finland, fixes cameras, amazing dude. I, I'll leave his link to his Instagram so you can follow him, good photographer dude. He's my best photographer online. I'll post some pictures he's taken of me while working here in the past. Thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye.